Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial for Victor Bre by Strom. Hey Drifty, thanks for all your videos. There's one thing I still don't quite understand how to do, even with your help and plugins. I'd like to do a coin purse that contains a random number of coins, like between 20 or 40. Uh, I did I did try it with a variable through a common event, but the gold doesn't show up in the menu when I tried it in-game. So Victor, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy to do this. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a common event. So go to your RPG Maker MV database, then go to common events and create a new common event called a coin purse or whatever you like, really. We're going to control a new variable. So right, right click, insert a new uh, con uh, control variable, create a new variable, take note of the number that uh, location you're putting in it. Call it coin purse roll or whatever you like to. Uh, use the operation of set and set it to a random number between 20 and 40 as uh, you specified in your request. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to show an animation. Now you can do whatever animation you want. I created a custom one for it, but uh, you can make it however you like to make it. After that, you're going to change your gold um, by the variable. So you're going to insert a new change gold increase by a variable. So you're going to select that new coin purse roll that we're randomly selecting between 20 and 40. Then you're going to show text saying we've obtained now you're going to go forward slash V and in the brackets here you're going to put the number of your coin purse roll variable. So whatever number, sorry about that, whatever number you selected, for me it's 75, you're going to put that there. Then you're going to do a forward slash C and then whatever color you want the coins to, to be, you don't actually have to do this but this is just to make it uh, look a little bit different. And then you're going to do, um, uh, do a forward slash II and then leave it blank right there. We're going to come back to that in a second. So after you've made that common event, go to your items, create a new item, take notice of the location that uh, the coin purse is going to be. So name it and take note of that number. Go back to your common events, edit this right here, and put that number in the brackets right there. Now going on to creating the item, we're going to call it coin purse or whatever you like. Give it a name, icon, description. Um, make it a regular item, um, whatever price you want. I would leave it at zero since it's going to give you coins, or you can even set it to a median value of maybe 30 or 35 or something. Um, you're going to make it consumable, so when you use it, it disappears. You can't just get one coin purse and have an infinite bag of coins. That would be interesting. Um, scope doesn't need any scope. Matter of fact, it won't work if you uh, give it certain scopes, so go with none. Occasion, if you want it to be able to be used in battle, you go always. If you don't, set it to menu screen. Um, give it that animation we created or whatever animation you want and have it call on a common event in the effects Go to the fourth tab on other go to common event select that new common event. We just created coin purse Hit apply hit okay now next thing you're going to be doing is awarding it However, you want you can uh, make a treasure chest and put it in there or you can set it to the enemies as an enemy drop or however else you want to award it. But that's basically going to do it. Let's take a look at it in game. So I grabbed 10 in this chest uh, just to show you that it'll give you different amounts. So this is the coin purse, contains a random number of coins between 20 and, well, I originally did a 50, but it'll be t uh, 20 to 40. That time we got 30. Now we got 26. Now we got 20. Now we got 28. 23. And you see we're getting different numbers, so that's how you make a coin purse. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. If you have any other special requests, leave them in the comments below and I'll read them and get back to you. Uh, thank you for being awesome. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the next tutorial.